What's up you guys? Welcome to another video. It has been a long time. This morning we're getting up, we're going running, but it's been kind of crazy. So summertime for us and the family, got a, got a follower this morning. Summertime for us and the family is always filled with baseball. So my son plays travel baseball, which means we basically run around like crazy people for the first few weeks in the summer. Man, we have been to Bend, Oregon. <clears throat> we went to Eastern Washington to Washington State University for a tournament. We just got back from Omaha and um, it's been kind of crazy. I had a trip to Texas for just like a mastermind weekend with my mentor. So it's been kind of crazy. But we're getting up this morning and we're going running and I think I lost my dog. I started getting my stuff together and she started jumping around. So for my five mile run this morning, she's coming with us. And I've got like all the things, look at this. The life of a YouTuber. But we're heading to the trail guys, let's go run. I guess she's riding up there with us. This one is ready to do some running. So, like I said, we got five miles today. Freya, come. Freya, let's go. So like I said, we've got five miles today. And this is actually the first run. It's Friday today. This is the first run I have done since we got back from Omaha, Nebraska. And, uh, Decided to do it on the trail because like I said, she wanted to come with us today and kind of hard to run with her on the road. So we're out here on the trail. Let's go get five miles in. So as I was getting ready to go out and run this morning, and I was putting my trail shoes on, I realized that I hadn't put these trail shoes on at all since the Dirty Turtle 50K. So this would make it the first trail run that I've done. Come on. First trail run that I've done probably two months. And man, I do miss running in the woods, you know, traffic, just quiet, a lot gentler on the joints. Very, enjoy, very much enjoying the solitude this morning. All right, that's a wrap. We're about 5.3, just because it's been kind of nice to get out on the trail this morning. Like I said earlier, uh, I hadn't been on the trail in probably around two months. I mean, I literally had dirt in my shoes from the Dirty Turtle 50K and dumped them out and threw them on this morning, which made me just kind of realize like, I gotta mix up my runs a little bit more. Um, but yeah. Five miles is done. We're gonna be heading home. But real quick, I just wanna let you guys know what is next in the cards for me. So, I had a lot of leadership changes and things at Virtuous that have just put me back, basically behind the driver's wheel of the day-to-day -day operations. Um, so, that's one thing. Really taking a lot of my time away. Um, exciting stuff because it just reminds me of the beginning when I was building Virtuous and like 
the hustle that was required to make the thing successful. So that's one thing that's going on. Second thing, we're expanding to another state. Really good friend of mine, just the, the pressures of the gym have um, brought him to this place where he was like, hey man, are you looking to come in and to help me grow this thing? So we're gonna be taking Virtuous all the way from Washington to Boise, Idaho. So probably gonna call it something like Virtuous Boise or something like that, but we're gonna have a gym in Idaho, which will be the third variation of Virtuous because we have two, Virtuous Fitness and Virtuous Grappling here, and then we'll have Virtuous Fitness Boise. That's pretty exciting, but I'm sure that's gonna be a lot of travel back and forth. And of course, I'll document it and I'll bring you guys with me. Um, they announced our media guy, Keegan, who edits a lot of these and is kind of behind the scenes on a lot of the content at the gym. Him and I are talking about going out and just shooting content in the new space, getting photos and some just some B-roll stuff so that we can make content with it for that gym out there. So obviously we'll vlog that, we'll take you guys with us for that as well. But that's what's going on. As far as running is concerned, Marine Corps Marathon is the end of October. Gonna be starting prep for that next week. So this is realistically my last fun week, if you will, of running with no real focus other than just keeping the mileage up and enjoying the time. So we're gonna head home. Got a couple appointments this morning. Gonna be taking my oldest son to quarterback training out in Seattle. Probably gonna video some of that, but I'm also just gonna dad so hard and enjoy that time. And then our cold plunge is coming today and I'm gonna do a full review on what I think of it. So let's get the day started, you guys. All right, so fast forward, appointments are done. I think I said this earlier, we've been traveling a ton. We got back from Omaha, Nebraska on Monday. We had a youth baseball tournament out there for my oldest son. And while we were there, it's kind of cool too because we also got to go to like, uh, it was a Wake Forest and LSU game. LSU actually ended up winning the entire College World Series, but we went to a College World Series like bracket game over there and it was awesome. The trip was awesome. But right when we got back, Tuesday morning, Wednesday morning, Thursday, like every single day, all day, I was coaching and hustling and grinding, making sure that the business was moving in the right direction, especially with us, you know, um, acquiring this new space to open a gym. A lot of things that needed to get taken care of. Today's kind of the first day where there's not a ton of stuff on my schedule, it's just a couple appointments this morning. And then, like I said, we're gonna be going and doing some training for my older son later. So came in, got these appointments done, and now we're just gonna kind of take it easy. Um, I'd like to say that we're gonna get some weight training in, it's gonna be all based on whether we get caught in traffic when we come back from Seattle on the quarterback training. But like I said, we're expecting our cold plunge to come in the mail today. And part of this video is just so that I can review that and give you guys my honest feedback. There is a lot of different you know, cold plunges out there. There's some that are on you know, the $6,000 um, for everything you need kind of price range and then I actually just purchased one that's portable and it's about 200 bucks My thought with it is I want to make sure that it is something that We can utilize and we can stick to as a family before we go and invest in one of the larger ones, but I know um, I've got a little bit of skepticism as to whether this $200 one is even worth it just because of the size and will it keep the water cold enough and um, Yeah, so anyways gonna be doing a review on that when it comes in and then uh, I thought I would do a video on it but Heading home, gonna go get some breakfast in and then we're gonna go be uh, making our way out to Seattle for quarterback training. All right, so this one spent I think it was like 160 bucks and then the cover plus the drain cap and then getting it shipped here put me at about around 200 bucks. The gold standard is called the cold plunge and it's about $6,000 when you get the like water recirculation pump and all that kind of stuff. So I figured I would give this a shot first and then if this goes well and myself, my wife, my dude, we use this consistently enough. Um, again, there's a lot of research that supports uh, just cold exposure and how, what kind of things it can do for your general health. So the thought is we will give this a shot, make sure we use it consistently. 
there will be a lot of change in the water in and out. I think that's, you know, that's just what's going to come with something that doesn't have its own pump and is not, you know, uh, a, a high type of material or a high quality material to keep the water insulated. But uh, I read a lot of positive reviews on this, figured I would try it myself. And then because I make content, I figured I would tell you guys all about it. So just came in, we're gonna unbox it, put it together, and then we're gonna put it to the test and then give you our feedback. Um, I am enlisting the help of my oldest son and teaching him how to make content, um, but also because I need a, another set of hands so that we can record using the camera and gonna be creating some Instagram content as well, which is the life of a content creator. So we're gonna build this thing, unbox it, let you guys come along and um, we'll see if it's hard to put together, if it's easy to put together. And then uh, him and I are both gonna cold plunge. All right, so contents, nothing too crazy here. We have, oh, I'm almost on here. The drain nozzle, the thermometer. I believe those, those are the support pipes that goes around the tub itself and then our lid so does it come with instructions at least we haven't found any yet and i'm just going to make the assumption that's because it's pretty easy to put together so here we go let's build this thing All right, so got this thing completely built. Took us maybe 10 or 15 minutes. Like based off of what I saw on social media and on their website, actually just looking at dimensions, I imagine this to be a lot smaller than it actually came out to be. So um, if you come over here and kind of take a look at this thing, pretty decent size. On the, basically their website, it said that this could fit somebody up to six foot six. And I'm six foot five, so I figured that um, I'd be kind of pushing the envelope, but I can definitely submerse myself inside of here and um, get into some cold water. Uh, the lid, pretty decent, right? What you would expect for about 200 bucks. Fits on top of it pretty nicely. And then a cover to go over top of it. The website says that this can keep water cold um, for up to two days. So um, came with a, a thermometer, easy drain plug on the side here. Pretty satisfied with putting this thing together and all the pieces that came with it. Now we're gonna try it out. We're on well water here where we live, so the water's already gonna be pretty cold. And then we have a couple bags of ice, two 20 pound bags of ice that are gonna go in that pod. Got a couple running bets here. 20 bucks to the first one that can stay for three minutes and then he's gonna do it just because. We're about to give this thing a shot. Hey, hold this up. Nervous. What are you nervous about? I feel like I'm gonna get out right away. No, you're up. All right, so how long are we going for? Three, no, you're up. three minutes. All right, let's go do it. My nose. It's actually not that bad. Yeah? Hold this. Minute 30, how you feeling, son? I'm numb and I'm fine now. You feel so? Yeah. Nathan, yeah. you think you're gonna be able to do it? Yep. How long are you staying in for? Five minutes. Five minutes? There's no way you're staying. How long are you staying in for? Ten. Ten minutes? Call it. Um, I'm gonna go realistically. I'm gonna say like about three minutes and 30 seconds. Three minutes. I'm gonna say three or 30. You gotta control I'm your so breath. I'm so numb. Control your breath. All right, so here we go, guys. Everybody's gone. Even Mr. Holden at four years old made it for 27 seconds. Everybody here did three minutes. People earned 20 bucks, and now it's the real test. Again, the website said that this can take somebody who's up to six foot six. I'm six five. Um, we're right at 50 degrees for water. Again, I'm not like an avid cold plunger. This is 
you know, my fourth time ever doing a cold plunge. So we're gonna get in. Um, everybody else was able to kind of kneel down and sit under the water and get up to about their shoulders. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to sit and kind of keep my arms to the side. So let's give this thing a shot. All right, so that's a wrap. Everybody cold plunged. We are putting it away for the evening. I don't know guys, I pretty much approve of this thing. At 200 bucks as a six foot five guy, getting the temps down to 50 degrees and then being able to submerse myself and uh, realistically only having to change this water out every few days, keeping, we have an outside um, ice freezer so we can just you know, keep bags of ice stocked inside of there. I definitely approve of this thing. This is uh, a great product, a great kind of entry level thing to get into cold plunging. Um, and for, for my family and I, I think this was a, a good purchase. So I would definitely recommend this to you guys. Hold it. How was the cold plunge? Good. It was good. Was it easy? Yeah, you need some nuts? Right here. Good. All right, so pretty laid back day. Everybody in the family cold plunged. We got our run in this morning. Performance were done. Pretty laid back day, like I said. But every Friday or Saturday, depending on whether we're home or not, it is burger night. And you already know, burgers are made, sweet potato fries are ready. And we're gonna cook them and hang out. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the review today. Hope you, you know, if you're on the fence about whether you wanted to get into, you know, start into cold plunge or buy one, uh, by all means, go check out the ice pod. I have no endorsements. I got no links to share with you other than just a guy trying things out and sharing it with you guys on the internet. So thanks for watching. Make sure to give this uh, video a thumbs up and to click that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next video.